Welcome, welcome back on C-Square. In this video clip we're going to talk about dilation. <coughs> For that reason I'm going to use uh, GeoGebra. So again GeoGebra.org and you're going to get this website. I'm going to click on Geometry. And you should get this uh, screen where uh, you have two areas this one where you have the tools and this one where we're gonna do uh, the work <clears throat> I'm gonna click on the segment which is right here right here and this says select two points or a position we're gonna select two points and we're gonna get something like uh, this so this is the segment a B uh, then I'm gonna select the next thing which is a point And we're going to put a point C on uh, that right side of the screen. Click the More button. And obviously you get a lot more tools. And you're going to scroll down until you see this uh, choice, which is uh, where Transform is. And that one says Dilate from point so we're going to do a dilation with respect of a center of dilation which is a point uh, it gives you some uh, uh, information how to do the dilation select the object then center point then enter a factor so let's go back a little bit the, our object will be AB, the center of dilation will be C, and you will see it on the next thing. We're going to type in the scale factor. Okay, so you're going to click on AB and C after you click on, uh, on this uh, uh, tool, and then you're going to get this message dialed from a point. And depends on what you put there, I think I put a factor of two you get a picture similar with mine okay so yes this is a factor of two if you take a look a prime b prime is twice larger than a b okay if you obviously change the scale factor you're going to get a different picture okay now let's click uh, the tool that is called ray again you scroll up and you see back uh, lines and the fourth one is ray uh, we're gonna do two rays. We're gonna see in a moment which one. We're gonna do the ray C A. So we're gonna put an endpoint on C, and then the ray is gonna go through A, and it's obviously it's gonna go through A prime. The same for the second ray, and you're gonna get C ray C B or C B prime. Okay. Uh, I would like you to see that all these points, I mean C A and A prime, are collinear. C, B, and B prime are also collinear on the same line. That is another thing that is so important about dilation. Then uh, let's go on the right side of the screen where the red hour is. You're gonna have the. You, we can change some settings here. And one of the things I want you to click uh, right uh, now is show axis. In other words, you're gonna see some axis here, and also. I would like you to click again and then show grid then you have some choices let's click only major grid lines okay and we should get something like this in other words I want you to see now how this dilation behaves what's happened with dilation when you are on a on an, uh, coordinate grid on a rectangular grid where we see x-axis and y-axis I'm gonna rearrange a little bit the picture you can do the same uh, don't forget to choose this 
uh, this choice here, if you want to rearrange the picture other than that, you uh, GeoGebra is not going to behave nice with you. So click that tool and then you can rearrange the picture. And look at here what I did. I moved the C at the origin and then I rearrange uh, A and B, the segment AB. And you see now a nice a different picture is similar with the other one. However, we have a grid. The center of dilation C is now at the origin and uh, A segment AB, the endpoints are in a pretty good situation. We can read them, right? For, for example, the point A, the, the X coordinate is 3, the Y coordinate is, I'm sorry, the X coordinate is 2. The X coordinate is 2 and the Y coordinate is 3. And look at here to A prime, to A prime, uh, which is the dilation of A by a scale factor of 2, and the center of dilation is C, the origin, the coordinates of these points are X is 4 and Y is 6. And look at look to B, and hopefully you can see there is a relationship between these coordinates and the scale factor uh, that we I just mentioned was 2, right? Discuss with your partner and think about a little bit. Okay. Okay, so hopefully after you discuss with your partner, you notice that uh, the coordinates of the endpoints of the dilat segment, A prime and B prime, are nothing else than the coordinates of A and B multiplied by that skill factor of 2. Yes, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 2 is 6. So uh, if you notice, I multiply the coordinates of point A and I get the coordinates of A prime by that skill factor of 2. The same with B. So that is a rule that you may want to remember. Okay. XY will change in NX and NY. In other words, you multiply by that scale factor N. Uh, let's check if that rule works for another dilation. And you see, I did another dilation, and I think this one is by a scale factor of three. Again, if you you can take a look to this uh, a, this is three and uh, I'm sorry, two and two and three, two and three. Now the new guy here, the a prime one, how the GeoGebra called this, uh, the dilated point is six and nine. And again, you can see well, now one more time. I mentioned, I think uh, it's uh, the scale factor is three. Okay. And here we have another dilation. We dilate segment AB and we end up with a smaller one. Yeah, this one is called a reduction. The other one are enlargement. This one is a reduction. And if you notice, A2 prime and B2 prime uh, are half. The, the coordinates are half of A and B. A2 prime and A B2 prime, that segment, is half of the original segment. Uh, if you enjoyed this uh, short presentation about dilation using GeoGebra, don't forget to click the like button down right and come back on C-Square for more video clip. Thank you.